at about 4.14 a.m. I'm going to come in here and videotape the liftoff. I live 180 miles from the launch site. I'm going to leave the camera run and uh, you can watch the time pass the lower left hand corner and in about a minute and 10 seconds after liftoff we'll be able to see the space shuttle rise above the horizon because of the curvature of the earth it takes that long to come into view here in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, you can see my other videos if you go to the site space S-P-A-C-E dot echoes E-C-H-O-Z dot com and see all the videos of my other of the other launches okay about 4.14 we're going to be back here and uh, tape the launch and then go outside and see it uh, come above the horizon Okay, here's the launch. Now watch the clock in the lower left-hand side of the screen, and you will see in about... I'm gonna go, just go outside now. And in about a minute and five seconds, according to that clock, or 4.15.05, we will be able to see the shuttle coming to view above the trees from Cape Coral, Florida, 180 miles away. It is spectacular. It always is. And I don't doubt there's going to be any less tonight. I, as I said, I have other, other recordings. start appearing here okay it's a minute 10 it's a little bit long so there it is there it comes through the trees you can see it coming and wow holy Christ isn't that something that's 180 miles away Spectacular again. Wow. Man, we're going to be able to see it go up a long way here. I don't know if I can get the zoom in here any better. I don't think it's going to... back off to get a better view of what I see here. Oh, wow. Ah. There's just a little bit of it left there. Amazing. Amazing. couple days I'll have to check that website and see when I can see it at night at heavens-above.com is a website where they tell you uh, the time and areas 